at last left, the lone wanderer. They had finally arrived at the Arlington Public Library, where they sought out the information and data that Moira Brown so desperately wanted, but not before traveling through a whole bunch of rat roaches, as well as raiders. But thankfully, the Brotherhood of Steel was on the scene to help out and be a little snooty. Now it was time to report back to the Museum of History and see what else awaited on the horizon. This is Fallout 3! Welcome back. Choop, choop. There we are. God, it gets me every time. <laughs> what the fuck? How, how deranged. How, how truly deranged. Right? I, I, I don't know. If, if you taxidermy a domesticated animal... Like, that's a new level of fucked up. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The human mind, you know, it, it like, already it's I'm somewhat alive, freaked out sir. by taxidermied animals, but even more so if it's a domesticated one, or I guess even go a step up in, like, a farm animal, even though, like, like, I'm, I'm not a vegetarian or vegan. I'll eat them. I don't know. There's just something about seeing it all stuffed up and everything. I, I feel like the burden of my sins weighing upon me. <laughs> right? I don't know. It's it, it freaks me the hell out. It freaks me out a lot. <laughs> anyway, we're back here at Tenpenny Tower, not out front of the Arlington Library. Uh, I stashed a couple of our helmets. I think this is a, is this a lower level of detail version? of the helmet of the T-45? I think so. Relative to when it's being worn, especially around the tubing there. Anyway, did all that, stashed up some of our quantums, right? We got, and the Nuka Lurk meat. Stashed away a whole bunch of stuff uh, over here. Qu uh, a couple of folks as well wrote in saying that maybe I pissed off, what's her name? The scribe there, scribe. <clears throat> scribe yearling and maybe she won't take the books now <laughs> right she may not take the books to which i say i didn't realize that it was her that you gave it to i thought there was like a computer or something that you interacted with at the library and that definitely was not there maybe i'm thinking of some other place right maybe that's it regardless we've sorted out our inventory we got a lot of encumbrance freed up sold off some stuff bought up a few more things uh, notably bought up some more missiles, right? Because we're, we're just getting a lot of money now. We're getting a lot of money, right? So, hey, it's time to feed these hungry weapons. <laughs> it's time to feed these hungry weapons. What a thing to say. Let's head on back here to the museum. There we go. Great. And in here. Lovely. I guess this is the main pain of this area is you have to do a bit of a run to get back. Okay, there we are. And then maybe we should hire this other person who so lives around here too. Soft. What's happening? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> All right, let's see over here. Thank you so pretty. This way. Junk nope. is my oh, business. This is her. Okay. Gosh, Moira. It's it's hard to tell who you are here, because you look so different now. <laughs> Hello. Alright. Is it there? Are there books? Oh, can I go borrow some? Speech 12%. I went to the side of the library, but the building was destroyed. Lie. The library's still standing and I got the archives right here. Is it really worth risking my life over a bunch of books? What if the building was destroyed? I can't even find its remains. Library is still standing, and I got the archives right here. Really? A whole library's worth of data? Right there? Oh, that's great news! So, what did you find? Tell me about it! The archive was probably the most useful information in there. Endurance check. Now you can protect and catalog all the information it once had. The librarian's on duty. I brought you a present, but I forgot my card. What is that? Is this like a nod to something else? The librarian's on duty. I've, I'd have brought you a present, but I forgot my card. I think we're just being snooty or snarky. 
Okay, endurance check. Now you can protect and catalog all the information it once had. Bit of a stretch for an endurance check, but I'll take it. Does it mean that it'll be a <laughs> guard catalog? You see, because... Oh, never mind. You'd have laughed if you knew the words card catalog. I wonder if there'll be one down there once I tell the world about it. Oh, and here's a book of mine and some caps for your research. Think of it as pay for a civilization worth of overdue books. Okay. Let's see. I'm ready to continue work or research on the last chapter. I want to find out the history of how a successful settlement like Rivet City got started. I've also got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So what'll it be? Hmm, okay. Let's go to the Robco production facility, right? Using old technology sounds interesting. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Yeah, could you imagine having your own army of robots? <laughs> Sounds like a, a pipe dream to me, Moira. <laughs> Just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe. I can do that. What's it worth to you? I don't think I want to do that one. What's it worth to you? Well, you'll be getting access to an army of robots. That ought to be reward enough, right? But if you insist, I could spare some pulse grenades. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Alright, great. I actually don't remember this at all. You know, I don't I don't remember this one. If you've got the caps, Let's see. Can I've you get some repairs skill. going on for me? Do I need any? I'll spend 155 on the flamer. Everything else is beyond your capability. Fair enough. Okay, I have to go Keep now. Keep up the great research, super assistant. I forgot who some of the best repair vendor lords are in the game. Isn't one of the traveling merchants, like, really good? Right? And then... Isn't another top tier one, or, like, maybe even the highest? Also in... One of the, the Brotherhood areas, where Stark Paladin Cross, or Star Paladin Star Cross? <laughs> I forgot their name. But um, in that room, one of them is also a high-ranking, like, high-level repair person. Someone in Rivet City as well. I think. I think. Alright, let's see where on the map this place is. Well, it's not far off from Rivet City at all, is it? Oh no, it's way over here. Oh shit, it's the one out by Tenpenny Tower. It's this place. Oh shit. We've been planning to go there anyway. Fucking A. Let's do it. Let's do it immediately. Oh, I can't fast travel from here. Okay. Alright, let's get out here and, <laughs> and then we'll go. So that's what that factory was. Jeez, right outside of Tenpenny's. What are the fucking chances, huh? Okay. Take some of this trash to load up the rocket launch here. There we are. Am I okay to load up the forceps and tweezers? Do we actually need that for whatever quest it is that was involved with getting that other item? The, like, ink? Because I feel like I'm I'm a hair's breadth away from accidentally junk jetting it, or rocket launchering it. Okay. Is this, is this still you? Yeah, How you've just moved around. Treating you? It's treating me quite well, Willow. Okay. Let's travel out here. Good. Except for all the ghouls in there, because I'm a... My character is a... Is a racist. I'm a bigot. <laughs> right? Whoops, almost forgot. Sorry. 
I, I hate ghouls. God, they're gross. Sorry, gotta get back in character here. <laughs> yeah, I'm racist as shit. God, ghouls disgusting. <laughs> I'll kill them every day and every night. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Go check in on Robot Factory. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just caught myself being a little too nice to Willow, being a little too friendly. <laughs> I quite enjoy Willow. All right, let's go on over here. Good. Just kidding. I hate her because she's a ghoul. <laughs> All right, what is this? Shit, there are robots here at the robot factory? What the fuck? Okay. Let's see. Wow, look, it's like a little cadre, a little troop. Hello. Mr. Handy, Tinker Joe, Sergeant RL3, and Protectron. Oh, isn't RL3 the neutral companion follower? Okay. Hello, Tinker Joe. Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. What are you selling? What are you buying? Have a look and see for yourself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. Garbage, as it turns out. I mean, I guess I'll buy the scrap metal. We can give it to that one asshole. Otherwise, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's fine. Thanks. I'd like to buy a robot. I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. I'm just delivering them now. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but... Well, RL3's a bit finicky about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. Okay. Bye. Bye. Stay in this man's army. Hey. Another glorious day in this man's army. Yeah, you have to be neutral, Karma, I believe, to get that one. I am not for sale. I am only a demonstration model. Dude is booking it. Tinker Joe will be glad to handle any of your robotic needs. Have a How may I serve you, master? I am not for sale. I am only a demonstration model. Tinker Joe will be glad to handle any of your robotic needs. Have a nice... Here, maybe I want to get a picture of Tinker Joe actually for later. Along, please. Okay, well, let's head on in here. Good, good, good. Got a couple double doors here. Robco factory floor. Sure. Robco. It's kind of wild that there's not a door here. <laughs> right, right under the sign. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure, sure. Anything else around here? Hmm. More slurping could be had. Anything around the side? Robco. Cool. Okay. Anything over this way? Oh, oh shit. Good. Eat a butt. What have you got? Scrap metal? Energy cell? I'll take it. Get back my cups and shit. There we go. God, I love... <laughs> I love fucking Jericho's combat calls so much. <laughs> I will fuck your shit up, kid! <laughs> He's so fucking good! I'm sorry. I fucking love Jericho so much. He's such a fucking Come piece on. of shit. He's great. He's so like he's so insufferable in like the all the right ways. What an asshole. Okay. And even better, he's like he's bald pretty much. God. What more would you want? What more could you ask for? Hard hats required in this area. Anything here? Oh, yeah, some more ammunition. We're gonna need this for robot killing. Here we are. Load those up. Cool. Okay. 
Well, let's head on in. We did a full perimeter sweep. Pop a quick save just in case. Oh, we better have a little quick slurp too. Of course, while we were at uh, Tenpenny Tower. Oh, look. <laughs> if I look over too quick, sometimes it's not rendered in the game. Saving on resources. Alright. Amazing to think that this game was fucking running on the Xbox 360, huh? This and Oblivion both. And then even wilder when, when you consider so too was Skyrim, huh? Jeez, we didn't know what we had back during that generation. Three fucking BGS games in such close uh, proximity? Holy hell. Okay. Look at them! They're dancing! Look at this one! They're doing a little dance! I can't even read this. Okay. Behold as they dance. This one's Two military grade. Oh hits. shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Dang, that's a rat. That ain't a robot at all. Okay. And that's a roach. Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Jericho. Oh no, this one tipped over. Ah it's screaming. The Nuka-Cola variant. I guess this is just every variant in the core game. I'm sure there's more in, like, The Pit. Or something like that. I could see that being the case. Some rad away here. Stim pack. Let me stash my weapon. Don't look in here, Jericho. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Somebody was taking pics of people in here. Oh, man. What a freak. Even Wilder is like someone just came in and saw them doing that and threw cash down on them. <laughs> oh, shit. This robot was shitting. God, robots can shit in Fallout? God, it shit out some metal. Um, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I almost drank it. But I, I just went down lower because of the metal. Okay. There we go. Take all that. Maybe that's what it was trying- the human was trying to get a picture of the shitting robot. Right. Yeah, people are never gonna believe this. I saw a Protectron at Robco. One of their newest models. He was taking a big old scrap metal shit. I'm gonna put this in the... Hustler magazine. Oh, fuck. Fucking sorry. Oh fuck. Sometimes Jericho just just fucking gets me. He's he's so fucking wild. Okay. Lying congressional style. Let's see down here. Take all these trash books. Another person crushed by a bookcase. I think this one may be a child. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't put it past Robert House to have children working at his factory, right? Even if they are working the front desk, I wouldn't put it past him. Right? <laughs> it sounds... That tracks. Okay, over here. You only cut all that. Get more of these trash books to shoot. And let's get reloaded here. Good. Okay. I yeah, got some more there, but we'll find more as we continue. Another bathroom. Somebody plunging the sink. That is wild. Okay. What is this? Radex? Bunch of urinals. Sure. Open this. Open that. Close that. Oh, no! Jeez, someone shit out a big old fucking shawarma. A stim pack? Sure. Anything inside of the little... Oh shit, someone wrote in telling me what these were called. And I forgot. A cistern! A cistern! Okay. Over here? What the fuck? Why did- why did everything else start blowing up when I killed that roach? Did its chunks, like, blast into everything? 
Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what happened. All right. Scrap metal. Metal box filled with some cola and an ashtray. Toolbox here with a plunger. No, thank you. Stash that. Let's see. What's in there? Anything in this big old pot? Nope. Metal box, conductor, I guess we'll take it. Steam gauge assembly. What did we need for building the railway rifle? I don't even remember. I'll take those, fuck it. Okay, metal cooking pot. Anything here? It's good to be out here again. Damn good. Bunch of darts. Conductor, maybe a sensor module you need. Okay, Protectron here. Take that. Amazingly, I don't think you need a fission battery for any weapons. Isn't it just for like an improvised explosive that you need that? Or maybe not even. Oh, shit. Look at this. A stealth Boy, Conductor, Steam Gauge Assembly, Turpentine. What were you working on? 556. Ammo box, 5mm. Clipboard and pre-war money. Sure. Okay. How about here? Some caps, paperweight. Alright, we need to stop taking bullshit. Okay. Empty, empty, empty. Over here? One cap, one glue. Spiked knuckles, more glue. It is so wild not taking all this glue. Okay, over here. Brass knuckles, a crutch. I think we need a crutch for building something. Okay, first aid. Taking all that. Let's read some of these books we got. I think we got at least one. Oh, we got two copies of Lying Congressional Style. Okay. Sure. Anything over here? Uh, I think we're good in this section. Alright. And that's the way in. So now we proceed over here. Sure. Into the actual factory floor. Which there seem to be a sparse number of actual robots. Okay. Got a roach. Anything else around? Scrap metal, of course. Sure. Over here. And let's see. Anything in these? Railway spikes. Useful. I guess we better reload this. Okay. That'll do. Actually, you know what? I'll even load up one of these conductors. MF cells. More of them. Caught quite a few. A wrench. Sounds like something bigger walking around. Might be another mole rat. Energy cells. Nothing in that. Bunch of tin cans on the floor. Energy cells. Okay. Are we going to get a bobblehead out of here? This feels like the kind of place where you would get one. Shocking number of darts. Okay, where should we go? Check up top here, maybe? Whoa, okay. Uh, you know what? We won't do that yet. We'll check on this lower level first. Oh, a turret. There we go. Easy XP. I'll take the rat meat. Oh shit, I just aggroed a bunch of something. There we are. Is it just roaches? Nope, oh, there's another mole rat. Well, this would be a good place for Moira's other quest. Okay, roach. Gotcha. Alright. 
Yeah, the paperweight's a pretty good size for a one weight unit item. Okay, anything down and around here? Just some roach chunks. Or scrap metal. Take it. Okay. Bottle cap mine. Let's see. Can I make a... I don't even have the recipe to make a... What do you call it? A, um... Railway rifle. 70 caps. Good. Conductor. Scrap metal again. Or scrap metal. Good god, man. Robco jumpsuit. Okay. All right, here, Jericho. Do you want to hold some of the scrap metal? Here? Sure. Give me whatever you got. There you are. And how about some of these? Good, good, good. Oh, I forgot to sell off these cigarettes. I always forget because some vendors don't buy them. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. God, he's amazing. <laughs> it's just a fucking mole rat. <laughs> God, he is so good. Okay. Check it out. Big book of science. Little toy car. <laughs> Here at Robco, they like to have fun. 14 energy cells. Steam gauge assembly again. Those things are heavy as hell, huh? Toolbox. Conductor. There's usually not anything worthwhile in the toolboxes, huh? At least for our character. Maybe if we needed wonder glue for regularly building stuff. But that is not the case. Is that one alive? No. I think they're all above me. Okay. Sure. Had we been in here? Were these already dead? No, we had been in here. Okay. Jesus, this place is a fucking maze. Oh, look. All these cabinets I haven't checked. Oh, a lot of good stuff. Okay. There we are. Over here. So this... Okay, this looped around that way. And then this is a room I haven't been in, huh? This seems unfamiliar. Yeah, there's even a roach in here. Alright. Metal box, ashtray, knife. Eh. Finance clipboard. Bunch of books. Knife. Fission battery. Anything else here? No. Alrighty. Got a wrench. One of these units. Okay. Sure. Have we checked everything now on their lower levels? I, I think? But I don't... I don't fucking know. Okay. This floor don't look stable. Let's go over here. Oh, I can't get up to that that higher catwalk from this room. Okay. Good. Oh. Oh, okay. Over here. And then head on up this way. Dude, I'm dumb as shit. Okay. Yeah, let's go up top here. <laughs> How do I... Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. We're on track now. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Oh, am I in oblivion? Look at the bloom on that. Is this one alive? Yeah, it's alive. Get blown up. Okay. Over here. Wow, amazing. 
<laughs> you know, you wouldn't have little offshoots like this, I don't think, anywhere in Skyrim. You know, at the very least, there'd be a little something something on the ground. You put like a a garnet or whatever on the floor or a potion of minor healing. <laughs> okay. Over here. Another little roach. Gotcha. Take that book. Let's flick on the lights here. Cool. Energy cell. Take that coffee pot thing again. Okay. On the bright side, the rad roaches are kind of a good way to tell where we've been. If they're still alive or not. Door to offices and cafeteria. It said, I don't know if we should go in there just yet, because I don't think we've checked everywhere in this section. Yeah, we definitely haven't, because there's at least a couple more roaches somewhere. Okay. I think they're in that other section. Oh no, here we go. Good. God, that book bounced off of that. Yeah, so this is the other room. Gotcha. Sure. Well, there's still one roach somewhere. Where have I not been that this this lone roach exists? Look, it doesn't even show up all the time. It's in this room? Where the Two fuck hits, is it at? Two hits. Die. Die. Jericho can Die. sense it. Where's it at, Jericho? You are so dead. Oh, it came down here. Maybe it was crawling out from under something? Is there another one like that in here? It's like maybe merged and clipped into the structure itself, perhaps? God, I think I think maybe it's true. I think it's inside of this. Sniff it out, Jericho. You smell anything? Okay, fine. Let's head on back up. We'll go into the offices and cafeteria zone. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Let's also get this reloaded real fast. There we are. Paperweight. Tin cans. Lovely. Yeah, I think someone at Tenpenny sold one schematic for for the railway rifle. All right. So where was that kitchen and cafeteria area? Jesus, this is a nightmare. Okay, here we go. Ah. Good. Taking that. Over here. Bunch of food. Three cola. Robot lord inside. Bunch of darts. There is a ridiculous amount of darts in this place. Two hits, kid. Two hits. I really missed this. All right. Some cherry bombs, squirrel on a stick, lunchbox. Basketball. Okay. Let's get reloaded again here. More cola? Yep. Sure. Man, I can really hear a computer near here. Must be on the top. Yeah, the coffee pot might be the best thing to shoot, as far as a one-unit item. Squirrel stew? Bunch of dinner plates. I'll take them. Oops. Loaded up a pre-war book. Oh, man. Look at all these. What's my encumbrance at? Should I take a lot of these? 
eh, we're probably fine. Gotcha. Sure, these are all emptied. Fridge has got some goodies inside. Another steam gauge assembly. Oh yeah, look at all this cutlery. That's probably good for shooting too. A lot of them are 0.5 units. Except for the butter knives for some reason. Okay. Pressure cooker. Maybe that's something I need as well. Pilot light. Brahmin steak. Whoa. Okay. Forks. Good. A lot of spoons. Another fork. Can I load those forks up? Hell yeah. Yeah, the butter knives are one unit of weight. Inexplicably. Okay. Lunchbox, another fridge. A lot of food. Okay. God, look at all this. Holy hell. Dirty water, stims. Are one of these colas actually still good? No, they're all cleared out. Fair enough. Nothing else back here, I think? Yeah, I think we got it all. Oh, I need to read that book, huh? Which one did we get? Oh, Big Book of Science. Here we are. Sure. Very well. Another Protectron. I'll take the energy cells. Do a quick save. Got you. Fire hose nozzle. Definitely need that. Holy shit, look at me sniping him. Got a turret up here. Oh, we've heard this one. Vacuum cleaner, nice. There are more of these here before we dump some stuff onto Jericho. Okay. Oh, Jericho, come back here. Jericho, stop, stop fucking around. Stop fucking around. Look at this asshole. Look at this asshole. Jericho, come on. I need you to hold five million units of fucking scrap metal worthless pieces of shit. Please, Jericho. God, he was on the prowl for what a are we rat. Around here for? Let's do a trade. Sure. Give me whatever you got. Okay. Let's see here. Take that fire hose nozzle and the vacuum cleaner. And I'll give you all the cigarettes back. There we are. I'll do it for now. Okay. Yeah. Great. I mean, I guess it's fair enough. We should probably check the rest of this. Jesus. Let's look in here. Protectron, more energy cells. Good lord, look at all this stuff to look through. Okay, empty, empty. Also empty. Telephone. What the hell made that noise? Who made that noise in this room? Was that from, like, upstairs or something? Sounded like I knocked into a chain, but I didn't see any. Okay. Anything in here? Pack of smokes, paperweight. Okay. Think we got everything searched in there? I think. Is there something else in this room? Is it above us? It sounds like it's right in this room. But I guess not. Okay. Anything else here? 308. Nice. One dart. 
Okay, anything here? Let's check these crates. The wooden bins. Okay, nothing in those. Now let's proceed over here. More stuff here. That's empty. Just a bunch of mugs. A lot of butter knives for some reason. Sound like the pool cue or pool bar pool balls being knocked around. One America. Now. And forever. forever. For now, my America. Did he's so good. I mean, he's, he's bad, but, you know, he's so good. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, cool. The fun mannequins. Of course. Why wouldn't you have that? Look at this. What is this important looking device? Huh. Okay. Anything here? Take the stealth boy. Got some mentats here hidden away. Lovely. Regular door. Restroom area. Oh yeah, give me some corner restroom drugs. Get the piss splash right on it. Okay. Oh yeah, hidden toilet vodka. Okay. Sure. I almost feel like, you know... I should start hiding stuff in the cisterns of toilets now. Right, what if you just went to someone's house? You were invited over for like a... a holiday or birthday or whatever. Your friend's house. Sneak a little something inside their toilet cistern. You know, put something in there. <laughs> yeah, put some... Put a little container of... Like a... Watertight... Bottle of ibuprofen in there. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Put a gun in there. Put a gun in there! Oh, put a gun in it. Holy shit, put a gun in it. Please put a gun in it. Okay. Let's see, I did check this, yeah. So, let's go out into this more industrial-looking part. Yeah, I don't know why there's uh, mannequins here. It's a little, little wild. Locked up ammo container. Give that a pick. Five, five, six. Eight shells. A mannequin torso. There's a bathtub here. Okay. Some roaches. There's just like burning braziers inside of the factory and stuff. A leaf blower? That's useful. See, this is what I meant earlier with those, like, dead-end areas. Here they actually put a little something-something down for you. Okay, Protectron with some energy cells. Over this way. There you go. Need a butt. Okay, let's check out this. Oh... Smoking. Blow its legs right off. With a butter knife. Energy cells. I think that's it in this room. Okay. Now this area is crawling with, I assume, roaches. Oh no! There's a rat lord. Jericho, I love that shit. Good. Man, I'm getting pretty good at aiming with this thing, huh? Both uh, statistically and me in real life. Right? Our, our big guns is pretty damn high right about now. Haven't we crested like 75 with it? Yeah, we're at 85 big guns. Not gonna put more points into it. Good. DC Journal of Internal Medicine. Jet, first aid, yoink and all that. More caps, sure. Stealth boy desk with pre-war money. 
finally at the point where we should be shooting those off. Okay. Energy cells. Empty. Okay. Everything in this room is checked. Lovely. Over this way. I'm taking back the basketball. I want that. And the cooking pot. Okay, left or right here? Let's go right. Oh shit, are we looping around? Yeah, okay. Now let's go up then. Good. Okay, Protectron with 10 energy cells. Love it. We'll save that door for later. Little roach. Okay, anything good in here? Personal footlocker? What have we got? Whoa! Combat armor? Really bad value to weight ratio, though. Leaving it. Okay, anything in that? Sounded like there was. But I don't see anything. Did it come out? You yeah, listen to that. Fuck? Does this... Does this shelf sound like... Chains? Hang on. Is this shelf chains? This shelf is chains! What? If I stand on it... Oh no. Well, if I move like a book onto and smack it. Yeah, this shelf is chains, dude. Okay. It's like the stone wall in Skyrim that is flesh, right? <laughs> There's a, I forget where it is. It's somewhere in, by default, if you're not running some sort of like unofficial patch, something uh, somewhere in Oh my god, what's it called? Windhelm. There's a wall. It might even be inside of a house, I can't remember. But, you know, given the, the like, Dark Brotherhood, Black Sacrament situation going on in that city, uh, kind of fitting that there is a wall that, if you hit it, it bleeds. Okay. This is also the secret joy of not fixing all of the bugs, you know? If you fix all the bugs, you miss out on shit like the shelf that sounds like chains, the wall that bleeds if you hit it, you know? There's some joy to that. And if you go around getting all these unofficial patches that sometimes change or add or remove stuff that, uh, you know, the author thinks should be added, you know, They're taking some liberties there, but you also miss out on uh, the fun quirks. Right? It's the, the imperfection that makes it so enjoyable, in my opinion. There we go. Good. Okay, what's back here? Conductor, pilot light. Some tubing. Do we need surgical tubing? I think that's just for the dart gun, huh? Some cola. I'll take that. Something back here, too. Let's do a quick save in case I get stuck. Okay, we're fine. Pilot light. Cabinet with 10 millimeter. Okay. Nothing else. Let's see. And then through this main door here. Ah. Any turrets? No. Yeah, weirdly enough, I think the Nuka-Cola factory had more robots inside of it than the robot factory. Five million coffee mugs. A stealth Boy pre-war book. Okay. Let's pick into this first aid container. Oh, you know what? I have a 100% chance to force lock. I'm doing it. Here we are. 
Okay. Well, let's do it. Robco production mainframe. The processor widget looks like it should fit neatly into this mainframe. Install the processor widget. Man, remember widgets? All get right going down. Firing weapons. <laughs> I like to imagine Jericho just got scared by it is all. Okay. He didn't know necessarily that would turn on us. He just fucking went for it. God, that one actually fucked us up a bit. Okay, I'm guessing all the robots are now appearing. Right now we have robot time. Okay, let's enjoy some of these delectables. Good. Okay, roach meat. Good, squirrel stew. Yum yum deviled eggs. Okay. Sure. God, fucking... Get our, like... Fallout branded, like... Gamer food. Or gamer drink. Or whatever. <laughs> Get our... What are they called? What, what's the... The, the gamer drink? What, what is it? It's... Do you know what I'm talking about? That people get sponsored by and they're always- everybody's always selling it. God, listen to these robots screaming. Look at Jericho, he's ready to go. Look at you, he's a regular old fucking James Sunderland here. The G fuel, that's what I'm thinking of. God, the fuel for the Gs, the gamers. <laughs> Man. God, could you imagine a world where I'm hawking that stuff? Holy hell. Okay, over this way. Good. I'll take some of that. I don't know, maybe it is good. It's not something that I would ever want to try. The G Fuel. Aren't there other, like, types of stuff from that same brand? <laughs> right? I don't know. I ain't into it. I don't think I would ever... I would ever take a sponsorship from... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. Right? God, if you see me... Uh... Ever on this fucking channel or anything, anywhere... God, look at these. Hawking fucking G Fuel. Uh, just know, man, I collected the bag, baby. <laughs> I, I secured the bag. <laughs> Look, you don't gotta buy it, <laughs> whatever, it, whatever it is. But uh, just appreciate the, for the moment that, man, whew, I made a a hot bit of money off of that. <laughs> just, just uh. Look, we can all celebrate that. That, whew, man, that sponsorship money came in clutch. I'll, I'll buy a nice little fucking pair of shoes. I'll get some new loafers or like a sport coat, right? Whew. After I get that, you're going to see me wearing a, a cool new jacket or whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see over here. Good. Now that feels on brand. If I, if I did have like... <laughs> If I were actually like proper, properly being like a, from a from a reputable enough uh, brand or whatever, uh, saying something about clothing that feels appropriate, right? That feels appropriate. Something that I would do for real. None of this fucking certainly not like fast fashion or whatever. I ain't gonna see me like doing Timu or fucking. I don't even know that if it's fast fashion, but. I sure as hell won't be out here <laughs> pimping out fucking Koofandy. Good lord, I've heard some people doing that. On this fucking... These fucking godforsaken <laughs> fashion channels! Man, you, you hear? You hearing this? <laughs> so how, how you gonna be a fucking fashion YouTube channel and you're pimping out people saying like, Oh yeah, this this week's sponsor is Koofandy. They make really quality products. <laughs> right? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Listen to our friend Jericho. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Look, if you're on a budget, 
maybe, but even then, gotta recommend thrifting even more so, right? Attention. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. There we go. Oh. Oh. Holy shit! Oh. I'm getting fucked up for my my Kufandi hating. There we go. Fuck me. There we are. Good. Okay. Sure. We got everything in here? No, I think we need to get another something something, huh? Reprogram the Robco facility mainframe. Sure. Well, where the fuck is that at? Local? Oh no, is it the main one that I put the shit into? I have to go back to it? Oh god. This is because I've sinned against the advertising gods. Okay. Going over here. Here we are. God, look at how sinister it looks all lit up red. Okay. Let's try this. We have to do a little hacking. How about... Hmm... Concerned could be a good one. Convinced could be a good one. Continued. Let's do concerned. Three out of nine. So none of these C-O-N E-Ds are going to work out. How about abandoned? Oh, it could be abandoned. But it's not. What about childlike? Oh, you have such a childlike honesty about you. Robco mainframe. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> uh, convicted? You have such a naivete about you. It's very, it's very earnest. It's very, it's very childlike. <laughs> Protected? God, I hope we solve this soon. I can't be here talking more to this mainframe. <sighs> Thank God it's fucking protected. It's gonna protect me from making any more embarrassing gaffes in this video, huh? <laughs> Welcome to the Robco Facilities Robot Master Terminal! How may I assist you this fine day? I would like the orientation guide. Welcome! Congratulations on your transferal to the position of Robot Protocol Operator! Your trusted co-workers will be the standard Protectron models stationed throughout the facility. Basic operation covers the day-to-day -day functionality of your co-workers, as described in detail in your training manual. Pest extermination encourages your co-workers to track and sanitize any roaches, rodents, or other undesired pests on the premises. Total liquidation removes your co-workers, humanoid safety protocols, and is and is for use only in the unlikely event of criminal intrusion or communist attack Robot shutdown allows you to temporarily retire your co-workers for their regular maintenance or in the case of accidental liquidation commands. We trust you'll find the work simple, rewarding, and extremely safe. Enjoy. Okay. Basic operation. Error. Factory power supply insufficient. Initiate the stress testing. Okay. Initiating sequence Omega-4 breakdown. Are they gonna start dancing? Oh, they're fighting each other. Sounds like, at least. Yeah, it sounds like they're going to town on one another. Or, like, they're killing one. <laughs> they're fucking. They're all fucking now. <laughs> all the robots are fucking each other. <laughs> cool. Great. Okay. I've- I've programmed them for their own pleasure. There we go. Let's reload our... little blastinator here. Good. Cooking pot. Pre-war money. Lovely. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I think they all fell over dead, for real.
Oh. All right. Well, we did all we needed to. Return to Moira. Okay. Sure. And the next one that we take, right? Um, we should... Holy shit, the robots are out now for real. But the next time we do it, we get one from her. We can accept it, but we can't finish it. Right, so we should convince her to stop. Alrighty. Over here. Great. Got you. Scrap metal, energy cell, I'll take it. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have had them fight each other. I'm missing out on little tidbits of XP here. I thought that they were maybe gonna start dancing. There we are, take all that. Got another two, I think? They don't do their melee attacks in this game, do they? They're, they're just purely lasering. Is it not until Fallout 4 that they have their little melee swipe? You know what I'm talking about? The little Protectron melee swipe? They slam their little fists. Uh, shit, I guess one of them in New Vegas is certainly slamming their fist. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? It's going right up your asshole. <laughs> All right. Let's go on over here. If I can even get out of this hellish place. <laughs> We're just going to be trapped in here now. Welcome to the end of the playthrough. This was it. <laughs> As it turns out, the playthrough was a question. Can I beat it <laughs> with all of these self-imposed limitations and on uh, max difficulty? And the answer is no. I actually, actually, I can't. <laughs> I, it wasn't because of the difficulty. I'm just too dumb oh, to get out of this building. Erica, what are you shooting at? Oh. I didn't even see that one. I can't even, yeah, you can't ever even loot these, huh? They completely blow up. All right, well, here we are, back at the start. Okay, well, I suppose we'll call the video for now. When next we return, we will go meet up with Moira Brown for the last time and convince her to do uh, absolutely nothing, right? And we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be role-playing our, our evil ways. We'll be so evil. <laughs> it's truly the most evil thing we've done so far in the playthrough oh. but uh we'll get all that done and then uh maybe we go to alexandria arms because we ran by that building and i would kind of like to look in there and maybe we should get started on the pit before too long right looking forward to the pit because we are getting kind of high level right we might want to do that yeah, we're level 13. Getting kind of close to 14. Right? On the bright side, our self-imposed limitations of just running around without proper armor also does help. Right? So even it being low difficulty, um, it won't be so rough. The pit being a bit of a lower level place, it won't be so rough because we'll just take more damage. You know? And similarly, on the flip side, us going into, what is it, Point Lookout uh, without proper armor will be nice because um, we won't notice that big of a difference, right? Because isn't the catch with Point Lookout, which we'll do far later down the line, but uh, Point Lookout, I think a lot of the enemies, especially their weapons, have some amount of armor piercing effect to it, right? Like they ignore part of your damage threshold I think I forget what exactly it is but uh, I think that makes them a bit tougher and their weapons a bit more I don't know desirable but hey all things to consider uh, are there any cool heavy weapons in the pit that we can get surely surely there's at least one weapon of every type god could you imagine if there wasn't <laughs> no, there might not be. I can't think of any off the top of my fucking head. <laughs> all right. Uh, when next we return, we will get all that stuff done. We're very likely going to start the pit, unless uh, there's a good reason why I shouldn't yet. Right? I don't know. We could go do one more step of our main quest. Right? We could do that. Yeah. 
We could go find Galaxy News Radio and sort that out real quick. Maybe we should do that? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. Regardless, until next time, please take care of each other.